Hi ladies, welcome back to the channel. So today's video we're going to be talking about hair extensions. I wanted to put this video together for you girls because I actually have a couple of pairs of hair extensions from Luxury for Princess. I've actually gradually um, changed my hair color and I wanted to talk to you guys about um, the quality of the extensions. I know I already did a review on them but I just kind of want to compare with you guys the different uh, colors, variations that they have and how well they blend to your hair and how you can actually customize your hair extensions. I customize my own hair extension. It's not that I contact Luxury for Princess and we have a line together or anything like that. No, um, it's just that uh, they sent me, the first ones were jet black, the second ones they sent me were black brown, and then the last one that they actually sent me over were the ombre ones that they have. Because uh, as you guys can see in uh, my last video and my Instagram pictures, I am trying to go lighter, and the black browns that I had did not match my hair color whatsoever. So I contacted them, I contacted them and I said, listen, um... I changed my hair color and now the ones I have don't match and they were so great to say listen we'll send you the ones that match your hair and they did so I actually have four different packages of hair extensions that I want to share with you guys today like I said I have the jet black I have the black brown I have the ombre one and I have their ponytail and I am going to show you at the end how I apply my hair extensions to actually blend my hair color very well and I actually get different colors incorporated into my hair so it's not just the whole uh, ombre one I actually incorporated uh, strands of other hair extensions to actually get the color and the look that I want on my hair so they're very easy you can customize them yourself if you have uh, different pairs of hair extensions I hands down I'm loving the luxury for princess hair extensions like I said I already did a review on these babies uh, a couple of months back I actually so I don't want to um, make this video really long I know it's gonna be quite a extensive video because of so much information that I want to share with you guys about these extensions um, so first thing in no way am I getting compensated for talking to you guys about luxury for princes you guys know that I sit here in front of the camera and I give you my 100% honest opinion on the products that I am showing you guys I have no intentions online to you for any reasons I am not getting any compensation for this I honestly I don't get anything from it I just get the fact that I found awesome hair quality hair extensions and I just want to share with you guys I know there is a buzz going on between luxury for princess and Bellamy hair extensions and all those things I'm here to give you my honest opinion on the hair extensions that I currently wear which are luxury for princess uh, if you guys want to hear a little bit about Bellamy hair extension I actually did a small review on the on this channel about them before I started working luxury for princess but I have nothing bad to say about Bellamy hair extensions uh, they do get a lot of hype. They're good hair extensions, but me perfectly right now, I am in love with the Luxury for Princess hair extensions. Their quality is amazing, amazing, amazing. All right, so let's start off by first saying thank you guys for your continued support. I am so excited. I hit 2,000 subscribers. Most of you might say 2,000, Princess. What the hell? I have like 145,000 and I have 2,000, 200,000. Well, you know what? Congratulations to you too. Because one day you were here where I am celebrating you 2,000 um, subscribers on, on, on YouTube. And I got to say that I'm really, really, really touched. I'm really happy. And honestly, I cannot do without the support of you guys liking my contents and your constant uh, feedback. I actually, I actually tell you from the bottom of my heart, I cannot feel any more grateful than I feel. And I wish I could hug you guys and squish you guys all like I've always said. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your continued support. And I love you guys. I do. I truly do love all of you guys. For one, click that subscribe button and just enjoy my craziness, randomness. But today is actually a serious day. Today we're talking very serious. So let's start off with taking off my rings because it'll probably get stuck. Okay, so first off, I'm going to talk to you guys about the first hair extensions that I got from them. And they were the Jet Black, which are these one right here. I'm going to give you a side-by-side -side comparison so you can actually actually see the different colors between the black, the black brown, and the ombre. So these ones right here were my first ones. And if you guys see this, like, I wish you guys can actually take a look and actually feel. These have more than, we're what, November? These have more than nine months of use with me. 
I will say eight. It has nine months with me, but I will say eight because I stopped using them like about a month ago. And I wish you guys can actually take a look and feel the heaviness of these extensions. It's it's gone for nine months with me of almost every day wearing, curling them, straightening them, curling them, straightening them, curling them, straightening them, hairspray them, everything. And they still feel like the first day I got them. I cannot believe it I actually was they actually were in my drawer and right now that I'm feeling it and I'm actually recording this video this is no joke I have to say oh my god like I gotta say like almost all the hair that came with it's, it's still here like the fact that almost nine months after and you still have so much hair it's unbelievable so these are the um, jet black then they sent me over their black brown Hopefully you guys can get a very nice look. If not, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take pictures of them and um, post them up in my blog. Oh, Luke. I haven't shaved in like years. <laughs> Ew, friends, is gross. I'm going to try to take pictures of them and put them up in my blog so you guys can actually see the difference. Hopefully you guys can see. This one sort of has some highlights because when I dyed my hair, my colorist uh, dyed them with me. Like, not with me. Dyed them as the way he dyed my hair. So some of them have like some highlights, but this is the black brown, black brown and jet black. There is a huge difference, as you guys can see. There is a huge difference between the jet black and black brown. Then I dyed my hair and I contact them because I, you know, I do sort of work with them as in discount wise. You know, if you guys buy hair extensions, I get the, um, you guys get a discount and I get some sort of commission off of that. And I just recently got their ombre one. If I have it right, this start off with their darkest brown color and it ends up in their chestnut brown. So I don't have them blonde at the bottom, it's sort of like a brown color. And as you guys probably might be wondering, like for instance, your, most of your ends are not that color, but I will show you at the end of this video how I actually get these on with some of the, the black brown on my hair so it actually blends very well and you can actually think that it's all my hair and that I don't have extensions which is pretty much all my hair okay it's all mine all mine they're my hair extensions so I can say it's my hair so these baby right here like seriously these extensions are like amazing amazing I don't lie to you guys when I tell you that I am in love with this hair extensions and when I went to get my hair colored, I think I told you guys this in my last video, I went to get my hair colored and I actually was a little scared to get them tr color treated because I was scared that they would actually like lose their silkiness, their smooth, their shiny and I was just a little skeptical about it but then I was like I have to do it because if not it won't match my hair. So he did, he colored my hair extensions and when he was done coloring my hair extensions he said listen, I have to tell you that these hair extensions are amazing quality. He said, I manage a lot of hair extensions. I do hair extensions, I put hair extensions, I dye hair extensions, and your hair extensions are the most amazing quality I've seen. And I was just in shock. I was like, oh my God. So someone that actually works with hair every single day and has different hair extensions companies like they we've worked with and to tell me that you know my hair extensions are awesome is one of the best he's actually handled for me i was like wow like honestly no joke these hair extensions are amazing i absolutely love 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 these hair extensions the volume that they give you is no joke so these hair extensions give you so much volume not only do they give you so much volume the way the clips are like the way they're sewn in i think they're double they're double sewn in or something like that yeah i mean the way these hair clips are they are just amazing the clips on these things on these babies are amazing like i clip them on during the day and those babies do not come off during the day like i get home at night and that's when i take them off and that's literally when the clips just kind of like move because i'm actually releasing them and they move and they get out of my hair because other than that, girls, these clips do not move from your hair, like from your scalp. They just grasp on and they don't move. I personally think that is a must when you have hair extensions because you don't want to be constantly going in there and clipping your hair. People are like, what is wrong with her? Why is she digging into her hair? What is she got? Some flies or something? You know, we don't want that, girls. We don't want that. And honestly, they blend so well with your hair. Like, 
I've actually gone from jet black to what I have right now. And when I look at the site and I look at the color and I kind of read on from the site, I actually immediately be like, this is the color I want. And when I, when I actually get them, they blend so well with my hair. It's like, so the colors that they offer you are wearable. It's not like you're going to get this brown that you would have to go and get your hair the same color and probably dye your hair and dye your hair extension for them to match no the color on these things are so wearable you don't it's not even funny like i grab the jet black boom they match my hair perfectly and i used to dye my hair soft uh what was it soft black so it wasn't even like jet black i used to dye my hair soft black and they just match perfectly then I dyed my hair like a sort of like a brownie color and I got the black brown and bam, matched perfectly. And now I got the ombre ones and I am loving these babies right here. Like I just, I just love them. <laughs> they're just so pretty because it's just like, oh my God, like they're called sweet dreams. So I mean, hello. I want to talk to you guys about the, I don't know if I talked to you guys about them already. Yeah, I did. When I made my how to make, how do I do my ponytail? And these one right here, I think I'm going to have to send them back because these, this one right here is actually, I think, the black brown, but in, in the ponytail. Look at this ponytail. Like, it's actually 22 inches long of ponytail. And, uh, yeah, 22 inches. And this is the black brown. This is so cute. Like, you get so much hair on this ponytail. It's not even funny. Like, look at this. To sum it all off about this hair extensions is that if you are still debating where they're to get an extensions that are hyped up over here just because a lot of awesome, talented, super awesome beauty gurus wear them. And these um, brand that you'd be like, um, oh, some of them wear them, not all of them. I just think that you can just do your own review, do your own um, research. Um, you won't be able to know exactly until you actually own them. But, you know, it's they're not few bucks on these hair extensions, so it's not like you're spending 30 or 40 bucks, either on Bellamy or on Luxury for Princess. Um, you are spending some quite some money on them, so you want to make sure you get what you paid for. Again, from my point of view, Bellamy hair extensions are great hair extensions. I own them. The only thing is that after three months, I kind of started to see my, uh, my hair kind of fall off. And I actually wish I had them still. I don't think, I don't know where they are. That um, you can see the difference, how thin it got to how thick my Luxury for Princess still are after nine months of, of owning them. So like I was saying, I personally think if you're looking for thick, full, awesome, they're going to last you for a very long time. You have great quality of natural, natural hair i highly recommend luxury for princess hair extensions for me right now they are doing it to be honest so as you guys can see i have three pair of hair extensions with them and i have nothing bad to say about them i think i i think they will be my best friend for a while i think you can do so much with hair extensions you know you can have your own hair when you're don't feeling like you're one glam out hair and then if you feel like you want glam out hair then you know you gotta do this clip them on so i'm gonna show you how i apply my hair extension to actually start matching my hair color they come seven clips of hair seven webs of hair extensions as you guys can see i'm gonna go through this again they are three two clips two four clips and two two clips that's how you get your seven clips your seven webs of hair extensions so i wear all seven of the ombre color and I know you guys will be like, oh my god. To even it out, I go in with my black brown hair extensions. This is where I customize it. So this is what I call I like to call my own uh, color of hair extensions for Luxury for Princess because this is where I actually customize it. I go in and I grab what's from the black brown and I put it in with this one and it gives me perfect color. So I like to play around and customize it. So if you have different hair colors, extensions in your house, you can also customize it, make it your own, make it cute. It's your hair girl do what you want so what i do is i grab the uh hold on i grab the two two clips from the black brown the two two clips from the black brown and then i grab one of the three clips from the black brown one of the three of the three clips so we're gonna start off from the bottom up and I like to start off, as you guys know, 
I like to. Oh my god, my hair. I like to start off with the three clip wefts. So here we have two of the three clips stuck together. So we have one here and one here. All right, let's get to work. I gotta hurry up because my battery light is blinking. Okay. So what I like to do is I like to go under my ears, right in the middle, like on the earlobe, and part my hair there. Okay, once it's parted like that, I don't know if you guys can actually see it. Hopefully you guys can. I'm grabbing the two, three wefts, the two, two of the three clips wefts, and putting that baby down there. And then I'm grabbing the other one, which is remember there's three three clips. So the last three three the last three clip weft, I'm putting that on top of that one. And I literally put on my extension less than five minutes, to be honest. Alright, so that's that one's done. And now I'm gonna go on top of my ear and I'm gonna part it there. Just like that. And put my hair up in a ponytail. And I'm going in and I'm putting, then I'm putting the two four clip weft, which they are stuck together. As you guys can see, I stick them together so I can get all of them. So I have both of my four weft hair extensions in there. And I make sure I put them very low because I'm putting something in here. Okay, then I'm putting one from the three clip, the three clip, then I'm putting one from the three clip weft from the black brown, and I'm placing that on top of this one. The reason why is because my hair in this area, when I put it down, is a little bit darker than the ombre, so I kind of want the ends to kind of match that place right there so I don't want it to seem like I have brown hair to here and then all kind of light brown on the bottom it just doesn't look right okay so I bring it down and as you guys can see it's already starting to cover it covers completely you guys can really see um the side sorry I really need to and I part my hair the way I parted in the middle all right, so now what I do is I like to go into my sides, and I'm sorry I'm looking at the viewfinder right now, it's just that I have to because I don't have a mirror next to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to part by my eyebrow where my eyebrow ends. That's where I like to part them. And then I go to the back and I grab my hair where my I put my last hair, my hair wet. So pretty much there. So again, where my ear, my eyebrow ends to the middle, and then just kind of sort of grab where I put my last web, which is this one right here, if I'm not mistaken. There we go. And then I put that off, and I hair, my hair up, just like that. Okay, and then I go in with my two two clips from my black brown and I apply those babies right on that where I parted my hair okay and then I put the ombre one on top of that one just like that and again we do the same thing with the other one we put the black brown The black brown goes first, and then we finish with the ombre. Sorry, if I mess, if you see it a little messy, that's not exactly how I put them. I, I kind of, you know, make it better. It's just that right now I don't have 
a mirror right in front of me and I'm running out of battery on my camera and I just wanted to you guys see how I apply my hair extensions. So as you guys can see, it's completely blended in the back. You guys can actually see that it blends very well. Hopefully you guys are seeing it right, it's just that. And here it is. So that's how I apply my hair extension. As you guys can see, it looks perfectly fine. It blends very well. But at the same time, I'm actually getting that dark brown somewhere in here because not all my hair ends are this color. So that's where I actually apply I apply the the black brown one so they actually actually match my hair and they don't look like it doesn't completely look ombre because not all my hair is ombre some of them are the bottom some of them are blonde but some of them are brown and that's where I like to bring my my black brown so it actually matches with my hair pretty much so that's how I apply my hair extensions. Again, I sort of customize it. So if you're asking me, oh my God, Francis, what color are you wearing? I'm actually wearing some um, uh, West from the Black Brown and some West from the, and all the West from the Sweet Dreams, which is the ombre collection that they have. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'm gonna put all the Luxury for Princess information down below. If you're wanting to buy the hair extensions, I have a coupon code. You can save some money on that if you like. You can use that coupon code. And if you have any other questions regarding the hair extensions, please do not hesitate to leave me in the comments below i will definitely talk to you guys about these hair extensions any questions you guys want to answer so head over to luxuryforprincess.com get yourself a pair take a picture hashtag with true on fading beauty because i definitely want to see those hair extensions so thank you so much for your continued support remember don't forget to subscribe you get videos tuesday wednesday and thursday thank you so much for sticking till the end Mwah, besotes. be blessed precious pearls until my next video bye